Hello, beautiful painters. Today, I am going to be doing a project with this piece of wood. And I actually have a couple of these in smaller sizes. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these in the end. I know I want to put some paint over them, but I'm not really sure what I want to do with them afterwards or what to use them for. I was thinking, an idea I had was maybe trying to attach these to like a canvas. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna work out, okay? I'm trying and testing new things all the time, so I'm not sure if this idea that I have is gonna work, but that's kind of what I have in mind right now. Right now. So I plan on, on maybe um, pouring some acrylic paints on my canvas, letting that dry, pouring some paints on this, letting these dry, and then somehow attaching them on a, like a pattern. So we'll see, I'm not sure. Like I said, I always try new things and you know, become creative and just think about wild things or things that you could try and test at your home. And this is how you know magical things happen once you start you know, trying uh, new ideas. So that's what I'm gonna do. Today, I'm just going to paint these and see what we can get from these. Um, so first of all, um, I'm just going to sand these off a little bit just to make sure that I get all these rough edges um, really nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go over here. What I want to do is um, I want to do two different things on these little ones. I want to test painting one with white, like a white background, and the other one I just want to pour some paint on it. Um, I just kind of want to see if the wood shows through some areas of the paint, um, or if it sticks better to it, if it already has like a white paint coat on top. So I am not sure, I'm just going to try it, like I said. I always try and test these new theories and ideas that I randomly get. So that's what I'm going to do. I, this is spray. I'm just going to put like a, a bag on it, below it, just to make sure it doesn't get on my, on my cookie sheet. Wow, it looks like it is, the wood is actually absorbing all the paint. So it's not even doing like a coat on top. Um, this is not working. Okay, see, that's what I mean. Sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. So yeah, this this spray paint is not working. It's just, all it's doing is, it's kind of like seeping into the wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color it with normal white paint. Okay, so I got my brush and I'm just going to Put a little bit of this white paint over it. This I'm just going to use right as it comes out of the bottle. I'm not really going to do to add any of the fluoretrol. I don't even know if that's how you say it in English. Fluoretrol, I think that's what you say, the way you say it. But I'm just using it right straight out of the bottle just because I want a nice thick coat, it's not meant to be flowing or be poured, it's just, I'm just going to use a brush to put it on top, so that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm just using the brush. Um, let's see, and, oh dang, I forgot to put gloves on, <laughs> it's okay, I will wash my hands afterwards. Okay, so one I'm just going to put like this white coat 
just to kind of see what I like better. If I like this, this one better rather than the one that just I just pour the paint over. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna like. I never I'm never sure. Like with acrylic with acrylic pouring, you are never sure what you're gonna get until you try it out. So just try it out. You know, test it and see what's gonna happen. So that looks like a nice thick coat of acrylic paint. I'm just going to let that dry, and in the meantime, I'm going to be doing pouring paint on this. So I'm just going to add some paint to this. Um, come on, get the white first. Let's go with the black. Okay, and since it's so small, um. I just need a little bit, okay? Not that much. I don't want to waste all my paint on it. Um, let's see. Let's put some. Ooh, some blue. Let's try this one. Dang it! Both are closed. Let's try some white pearl. So um, this is just plain white, and I'm going to add some pearl white. And like you see, I'm just pouring the paint straight from the bottles. I'm not using floral. I'm just going to try it out, okay? That's just kind of like a sample. Um, it's not really meant to be put on my painting. I just kind of want to try it out and see what if it works out, if it doesn't. Some yellow. Okay, what else? Uh, what other color I think might look good? I think blue. I'm just going to go with blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite. Oh, wow. And this is a metallic blue. So that is going to, I think it's going to be looking awesome. Okay, I didn't put that much, so let's see what happens. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but let's just do it. Okay, I'm super excited. Some of these paints are not really... Fluid, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of liking this. Oh gosh, look, I'm gonna take it over there before, because you can't really tell from over there, but look at that, isn't it awesome? Okay, and I, I like, you know, the black and the yellow, and the, I didn't get a lot of blue in there. Okay, I'll show you afterwards. Let me go back over here. I don't want to spill my paint on my computer. And I don't have that good of a technology here with my camera. Okay, so this is with this is what I came up with. But the paint is way too thick because I didn't put any fluoro in it. And so um Basically, it's kind of hard for the paint to actually flow around, and but it's actually nice. It actually looks pretty. So it has some, you know, blue, some black, some white, a little bit of yellow. The blue is not really that noticeable. It kind of turns like a light baby blue, um, kind of like grayish. But it doesn't look bad. So I just hoped that I, I would have wanted to get more blue in there, like a darker blue. Um, so, anyways, this was just a test, and I'm going to try it again, but with Floatrol. I just wanted to test it out and see what happens.
So I'm going to be doing another video and I will link that in the description below. So I will see you in that next video.